In this video, I'm going to go over how to calculate your science GPA for the dental school application and all the intricacies that are involved in and can affect your science GPA. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna go over the six types of courses that might be on your transcript that won't even be included in your science GPA calculation. So make sure to stick around for that. While there are a lot of factors that dental schools consider when screening your application, such as your application questions, personal statement, secondary essays, and so on, your science GPA is also weighted to determine whether you get an interview or not. But what exactly goes into the science GPA is a bit of a mystery for a lot of people. So in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what courses go into your science GPA so you know where you stand and you can calculate your own science GPA. As I run you through how to calculate your science GPA, I'll be using a GPA calculator for this. This GPA calculator makes it really easy to calculate your science and other GPAs such as your BCP and non-science GPA, and also includes a comprehensive list of courses that count towards your science GPA, many of which may surprise you. Being someone who served on the ADSAS advisory board, I know that things can change with the dental school application, so I update the list of courses in that document that count towards your science GPA to keep it as reliable as possible. You can download the GPA calculator for absolutely free at predenting.com forward slash GPA calculator and even use it to follow along with me as I go through the example. So to calculate your science GPA, it's really important to know that ADSAS is going to include all courses in these five subject areas, biology, chemistry, math, physics, and what they call other sciences. So to make it simple, count all of your courses taken in the biology, chemistry, physics, and math department for your science GPA. But there are also a lot of other science courses like meteorology, occupational therapy, nutrition, and geology that count towards your science GPA. The list of these other science courses is pretty extensive and long and can change. So I've made a list of them in the GPA calculator Excel document, which you can download for free at predating.com forward slash GPA calculator. Let's dive into an example of what your course schedule might look like and how to actually calculate your science GPA using the GPA calculator. So having this list of all the courses that count as other science courses, we can then jump into one of these two tabs, depending on if you're at a college that is on a semester system or quarter system. And what you'll want to do is just start by inputting the course name and, and pretty much your schedule. But in this case, you can just include the science courses and other science courses. So courses within the biology, chemistry, physics, math, and other science category. And let's say for the sake of this example, we took in our first semester chemistry one, which is going to count chemistry one lab, calculus, and nutrition. So this, these are the only science courses we took. Maybe you took an English course, but we're not going to include that because English is not a science or other science course. Let's say in chemistry one, we received an A, he received an A minus, he received a D, calculus is hard. <laughs> and in nutrition, let's say we got a B minus. So grade points goes back to the grading s system that ADSAS uses. For, for an A, ADSAS is gonna give you four grade points. For an A minus, it's 3.7. For a D, it's one. And for a B minus, it's 2.7. Again, those are all on this first page of this calculator. Credit hours, these are the credit hours, credits, or units that you are getting for completing the course. Let's say chemistry one at our school gave us three credits and then chemistry one lab was just one credit. Let's say calculus was three credits and nutrition was also three credits. So your quality points are gonna be automatically generated in this calculator. And quality points get calculated by multiplying your credit hours by your grade points that you received. And that gets done for every class, just going across the row. And then what happens is your total credit hours are gonna be automatically calculated and your total quality points. To calculate your GPA, or in this case, science GPA, you simply take the total number of quality points, right here, 26.8, and divide that by the total number of credit hours, in this case is 10. So then we have a 2.68 science GPA for this semester which makes sense because we got a D and a B minus. So it's really bring down our GPA. And one thing to note is the way that pass fail 
grades can affect your GPA calculation, withdraw grades and those kinds of things. And that gets really complicated because there are a lot of exceptions and caveats to what courses get counted as part of your overall and different GPAs, which I'm gonna cover now. But before we get into that, if you're finding this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe and share it with another pre-dental who can benefit from this. I made this video as someone who was once a pre-dental in your shoes to help pre dentals like yourself and I'd really appreciate sharing it to help with the mission of helping more pre dentals get accepted to dental school. So first, let's talk about repeated courses. If you took the same course twice because you didn't pass the course the first time you took it, then both the first grade and the second grade will be included in your ADSAS science GPA calculation. Both grades are included even if the original failing grade is not included in your calculated GPA on your school's transcript. In other words, it doesn't matter if your school decided not to factor in your original failing grade. ADSAS will still factor that failing grade into your ADSAS GPA. That ultimately gets shown to dental schools. Next, there are pass grades. If you chose a pass-fail grading system, these courses do not count towards your science GPA. They do not count as either a fail or letter grade for the sake of your ADSAS science GPA calculation. Think of it almost as if you never took the course. Next, there are study abroad grades. Study abroad grades are only calculated towards your GPA if a US or English speaking Canadian school accepts the grade and credits and has it shown on their official school transcript. That's because for the sake of your ADSAS GPA, only courses from accredited US and Canadian colleges are considered. So if you have study abroad courses that only show on your transcript from the school in Spain or France or wherever, but those courses have not been transferred and counted towards your US or Canadian transcript, then it's as if you never took the course. Those courses do not work for you or against you. After that, a common question arises regarding withdraw grades. These grades are really complicated and get thrown into two different pools depending on the type of withdrawal. First, if the withdrawal is counted as withdraw failing, which at some schools is denoted as WF or withdrawn with penalty, then the course is going to count as an F in your ADSAS GPA calculation. On the other hand, and the other side of the story is if you get a withdraw or withdraw passing grade. These two types of withdrawals are not even counted in your GPA. It's as if you never took the course. And now here are five types of courses that will not be included in your ADSAS GPA calculation. One, AP courses known as advanced placement courses. Secondly, IB courses known as international bachelorette courses. Thirdly, incomplete courses. Fourth, pass fail courses. And fifth, withdraw or withdraw passing courses. And if you're wondering on how to calculate your overall GPA and the different types of GPAs that Dental School Admissions Committee see in your ADSAS application when evaluating your candidacy, make sure to watch this next video where I'd run you through that.